You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Welcome back to HIP. That was my best impression of um, the guard from the start of Morrowind. I don't think he has a name. I think he's just like Imperial Guard number seven. Last episode, we discovered something incredibly important to this campaign. Vital to our progression. And when we succeed this goal, it is going to... Uh, I mean, it's just going to dial this campaign up to 11. Like, it's it's just going to... Now that music was a bit intenser. God, ah, oh, I swore in the first minute. Well, there goes the revenue. Anyway, more to the point. Um, we found last episode Dwemer schematics. That's right, my friends. Dwemer schematics are an incredibly powerful artifact, which give just a recap for those of you who don't remember. Twenty percent build time, build cost reduction per Dwemer schematics. You can have three equipped, which means if we get all three. That's minus sixty to build cost, minus sixty to build time, and then even with the crappiest of stewards, for example, my current wife. We are going to build things incredibly quickly and incredibly cheaply. This is the plan. This is exactly what we're going to do. And hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll have all three. And that's basically the plan, right? We're going to hire the Thieves Guild. We ourselves are also part of the Thieves Guild. We're going to steal them. Now, last episode, also kind of a massive thing happened that I ignored. We got one of the three tools of Kagranek by hiring the um, Kam Kam Kamenora Tong, I think they're called, to steal Wrathguard from House Inderil, I believe it was. One of the three tools of Kagranak. Now, we can't use it. It's obviously nice to have around. It's quality town. One of the strongest artifacts in the game, bar none. Wrathguard training is needed. As it says there, crossed out Wrathguard training. We need to find somehow a method of becoming trained and using it. No idea how that happens. The event might not even be in game. So I need to look that up at some stage and work out if it is even possible to use the tools of Kagranak. Anyway, it's, it's a, it will be a great artifact to obviously have because it is, like I said, absolutely nuts. We still got to get Sunder and Kinning as well. But first things first, getting these Dwemer schematics are going to allow us to build a new Dwarven Kingdom on the Isle of Solstheim, which is also the second part of the plan. We are fabricating the climb on the final part of the Isle of Solstheim now on Felsard. And when we've grabbed that one, we've got all three. That's going to be a duchy level title. Now, unfortunately, I thought it was a king level title, but uh, it turns out you also need this crappy island here and this crappy island here. So we'll probably just stick with the duchy. We'll get independence. We use the schematics to build ourselves a Dwarven Kingdom up here. That is going to allow us to tack into Morrowind. The Tribunal Temple and other such uh, random crappy Dark Elves have the tools of Kagranak. That's just lore friendly. When the tools were taken by Vivek and um, Almalexia and Sothasil, the, basically the, the Dunma gods, essentially, the Armed Civi, um, they use these tools to become gods and that's sort of the, the official law. So it explains why they're sort of kicking around. Now, at the start, Sunder was under the, uh, under the what, what are they called? I don't remember what they're called. The Tribunal Temple, I guess. Um, the, he originally had that, but somehow they've lost it. Imagine that, losing one of the rarest, if not the rarest artifact in the game. This dude lost it. We stole it. So, we've got another two to grab there, but obviously, you know, I've got to do everything else first. It's a multi-step multi, multi -step plan, and I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Order the Hedge Knight released for 10 invention, or Game Prestige. Uh, apparently, oh, no, D Dark also games. What a name, Dark. Sure, why not? This dude is um, a quester, and I, I was just about to say, I think he's a horse. But that wouldn't make any... It's more likely it's a horse rider in hindsight, huh? This music is uh, deafening me. It, it won't appear in the video because I'm an elite uh, hacker with, with master editing skills. But for me, my god. Honestly, I'm, I'm having my ears blown out by the horns of hat in here. Acquire a title. Um, acquire more land or another title. Increase his influence and power in the realm. Seems like a good idea. Now, I don't think the leech would agree with that. What else can we get? If we get 300 gold, we get 10% national tax modifier for five years. That seems a bit crap. Um... Show bravery in battle. I'm going to do that one because that will more likely give us... I, I think this will drive an event to give us these traits. So as you lead troops in this, you do get a a um, troop command modifier. Or, or Sorry, it's actually a trait, not a modifier. Which you level up the more battles you're in and eventually become a legendary commander. Which obviously gives you you know bonuses to your um, tactics. So I think it's like, you know, heavy infantry plus 5%, light infantry plus 5%, all that crap. So... That seems like it would be very useful to have, especially for an immortal character who's probably going to be in one or two wars during his time. That was found in his quarters. It was a vampire. Oh, good. When you thought nothing else could go wrong, the last surviving, one of the last two surviving dwarven city. Oh, God, Markarth is gone. The last surviving Dwemer city. Oh, my God, we are actually the last Dwemer. There were five strongholds, and now it's just us. Oh, no, was there six? One, two, three... For fight, yeah, fight. No, 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 there was also one in the Reach. There's also one around here. Um, Raven Spring was actually it. Now that I think about it, that's gone. Markarth is gone. The one down here, Arkwind, still Dwemer, but also not Dwemer. Bleakwall, same thing. Morrowind swallowed it up almost instantly. We're the last surviving Dwemer ruler. Oh shit! No pressure. 
Uh, it's kind of cool. I will admit that all the pressure has fallen onto us. You know, it, it's like actually ramped this campaign up to 10 there because we've, you know, it's not like we've got, it would be, it would have kind of sucked basically if Markarth became like an absolute Dwemer powerhouse. It's like, oh, the last surviving Dwemer, except for those dudes over there with their incredibly powerful kingdom. But no, we are actually, um, finally the last one. Oh, my spy master got grabbed by the Basilius. Sorry, I mean the Emperor, the Gouty. <laughs> <laughs> what an insult. I'm going to use that in my real life. You know? Like my friend Joshk. He's been a bit bloody gouty today, isn't he? Gouty Joshk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet him that later. Tweet him that. I'm going to send him a message on Discord. He doesn't have Twitter. He's not civilized. Right. Uh, study technology. We'll send in the next dude in. Radrak. Get in there, my boy. We need to steal all of their Imperial technology. I don't know why Dwemer would need to steal Imperial technology. Don't forget, we also do get ticking points from just being a Dwemer. Lose a trait. So we lost a trait diligent last episode. This episode, we lost a bloody trait just as well. What's, what's the deal with that, huh? What's up, game? Why, why have I not had any Minster base for a long time? Oh, probably because I'm on Theology Focus, you genius. Oh, my God. How long have I been waiting for Minster to base on the Theology Focus? Generally not good for business. 107 gold in the kitty. So, I think we go speak to our boy, Kind, Commander of the Grayslands, with his Dwemer schematics, and we say, I'll take those off of your hand for a pretty price, by which I mean... Oh, oh well, anyway, still our time. I was going to say, do we have to plot against this dude? But no, I'm, I'm crazy. Do I, oh, we could we're trying to plot against these dudes, though. Plot, uh, 143%. Holy shit, that's insane. Absolutely, welcome aboard. All right, anyway, while we're plotting against that one dude, look at this. Multi-faceted attack plan. Open, uh, steal artifact. Dremor schematics, boom. Hire a freelance thief or I'm thieves guild. Well, every time we've said either of these, they failed. Although this one's failed more. So I'm going to hire a freelance thief. 75 gold. They claim they can easily obtain Dwemer schematics from Kind and Memuza. What is he? Oh, he's a worshipper of the Nereverin. So the Nereverin is, is the, uh, the the savior of basically the Dunma people, right? Do it. Please. You shit. Look, so much of this campaign hinges on this going right. Right, who do we need to... Oh, oh God, okay. Well, we've basically just been lied to our plot powder. You wanted to join, but now you don't. Why? Why have you changed your mind? Oh, she's... Not even close enough where we can even hit her with magic or anything. Anyway, we're getting our national text modifier up. We're getting a bit more intrigue. So, I imagine intrigue is what affects your ability to steal things. So, if we get up to mastermind, or at least get up to bandit, which also gives intrigue plus two. Man, that's a 10% additional na national text modifier up from bandit. 15% is massive. We've had chances folly added to our treasure. What the hell is chances folly? Um, it's a book. Gives intrigue. Well, that's actually pretty good then. Um, we're not using build time. So, let's get to straight some photos. Let's equip this one. We also want diplomacy, so that more people are likely to join our plot. So I'm going to unequip... What else have we got? Navasta, Kavata, Kavatis. So not only can we get rid of this one and increase our general opinion, but we can also go for this one and increase diplomacy, which in turn will obviously increase our vassal opinion. So we'll get... Oh, sorry. Our general opinion. So go for that one. That's a good setup, I think, for being a big old thievy boy. The vivacious genius... Uh, excuse me. Sorry, hang on. To the vivacious genius, Rakung Thunch. Fine, that's how you pronounce it, by the way. And you have to really get it quite glottal there. Fine greetings to you. Trust me, I'm an expert in Dwemer. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I was in prison for 90% of the last episode, so I think I'm a bit of an expert myself. I would like to give you a seat on the council and therefore offer you the title of Spy Master. You big, stupid, Nord idiot. Fine. I'm, uh, by which I mean I accept. Thank you for this kind offer, you, you charming lady. You fine lady, you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to steal all of your shit. Or we could just straight up murder her. Um... Thane Blue Thank has had some interesting ideas on the economy. I'm sure who doesn't these days. I mean, if you read Reddit, unbelievable. Right, we could sell some crappy books. Um, I'm just trying to think of quick ways to get money. So obviously, you know, the more money we have, the more chances we have at stealing these goddamn Dwemer schematics. And the more we, the sooner we steal, the more money we get. It's cyclical. Um, Liminal Bridges is oh, actually pretty good. Actually, when we go to war, strikes and fotics, build time and stewardships. That's also pretty good. Because if we have those, build time minus 10%, 10%. And we have three drama schematics. We're, I mean, we're, we're laughing, right? Um, Ring of Necromancy needs to be a necromancer. So I might just sell it. Honestly, sell it. Get rid of it. Uh, Ring of Necromancy, get out of here. It's a good artifact, but drama schematics are better. And again, we may never be able to use the Ring of Necromancy. So what's the point in just leaving it there gathering dust when it has an actual fiscal value? Steal artifacts. Right, take four. Uh, do you want to steal a camel? No, I think that we will take your Dwemer schematics. Do we want to risk it again? Get thrown in prison again? I hire a freelance thief. Go on then. Third time's the charm. I'm actually getting kind of annoyed by this. Alright. 
Tank fucking four. I mean, what? Uh, it's affected by the quality, right? So obviously your higher quality artifacts are, are harder to steal. What are they? A quality three, to be fair. All right, well... I mean, we did instantly steal a quality 10 artifact, so I mean, that seems a little, uh, seems a little unrealistic. Try again, hire a th fre freelance thief, do it. Useless fools failed once again. I feel like the freelance thieves can just fuck off at this stage, because I think they are actually just wasting our time and our gold. Like, how much gold have we spent trying to get this one set of schematics? Seems pretty unbelievable. Now, how much mana have we got? Because we do want to blast ourselves beautiful, and we do want to blast ourselves, um, whatever, th whatever the other one was as well. It's like, make strong. Um, or something like that. Uh, bit I strengthen... Was it, was it not another one as well? Strengthen to remove witnesses become very strong. We've already got that one. Maybe we can give ourselves actually the, the strong trait then. But, but there was another one as well though. It was like strengthen, bo improve body. There it is. Okay, 40 mana. Ma oh, mana. Magicka to, to do that. So we do have to wait a little bit more. But I do want to focus on getting all those because obviously any traits, um will help improve our chance of, of uh, ransom, firstly, ransom ourselves after the prison when we fail thieving, which, let's be honest, is going to end up happening at some stage. But it's also going to make more people like us, make us less likely to be purged or assassinated by the Nords. Okay. 46 mana. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, Poach will be eliminated. I don't want to lose the, the intrigue. I can't afford to lose the intrigue. I also didn't realize that was a prosperity event, which apparently increased our prosperity. Um, unsurprisingly. That's generally what prosperity events do. Deal with them yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Prestige. Fantastic. All right. Let's scroll, my boys. Improved body. There it is. What does this do? Dexterity will be the stuff of legends. Which is made just agile. Entry plus one. Hey, that's good. That seems good for a thief to be agile, you know? We've only got 14 entries, so we are really barking up the wrong tree here, huh? Well, we can regain the, gain the trait to Gregarious and lose the trait. Gr oh, man, I want to keep the trait greedy, though, because of the taxes. Ah, fine. I, I would rather have Gregarious again. General opinion is probably far more important than... Uh, why has our entry gone down? Gregarious, minus one. I, I want to lose kind. I want to lose kind, because it, it's killing our intrigue. I think intrigue is definitely what's affecting our uh, our likeliness to succeed in, in thieving, right? Um, can we also... I'm just thinking, is there like um, Fortify Sneak? I feel like that would be the best thing to do, just fortify our own sneak and then go and steal for ourselves, huh? Seems like a much better idea. We should probably also be transmuting and also, uh, you know, doing all those other things to increase our own gold when we can. But I do want to try out, obviously, beautify again. I have a feeling that the, the, the tool tip there is wrong. It says it costs 35 mana, but we couldn't do anything last time. So I'm going to save up like 40 mana and then try it again. Hopefully it won't take too long. I mean, it won't take too long because we've got a ridiculous amount of learning at this point. But I think 40 makes more sense, right? What? Excuse me? Thane Rakunthun chose to set the title of Thane Mo's ring from... They just revoked my title. Wait, what? We just got it. Did she press my claim? Did she press my claim? I've never been so confused. She, I think she fucking pressed my claim for me. She actually did. Oh, I was going to kill you and now I feel bad. <laughs> when does the AI ever do that? Why did she do that? She's got so many other wars to do. Is this really a Dwemer uprising in a realm right now? And she went out and fought for us. I mean, we're still going to murder her in her sleep. But anyway, we can move our capital over to Mosering now. We're basically set. The good point is... We can now make, we can make this our capital and we could just summon a bunch of troops over there with our mana. We could summon a bunch of Dramora and conquer these other two. Man, I'm like genuinely like kind of a little bit blown away that the AI helped us out there. And I tried to steal your amulet and everything. Oh, hi Queen Ale of the Cautious. Well, I'm cautious enough because I'm still going to murder you. Oh, under Holy Relic. Could be anyone's finger. Game straight Seneca, which gives intrigue. Um... It's the finger of a saint. Okay. Um, monthly character favor. I don't give a shit about character favor. Let's go for cynical. Give me cynical. Let's see cynical. Nothing. Okay. Well, well I'm going to try then. Let, let's, let's put that plan into this plot brewing in the realm. Ooh. I must report this to my leech. Someone's tried to murder. Oh my god. Oh, of course, we're spy masters. So we'd like to be assassinated for snooping around plots. I must report this to my leech. But thank god we've been buffing up our intrigue a little bit. Or at least trying to buff up our intrigue. I think we'll try that now. So let's go ahead and... Oh, man, I wanted to get the... Uh, you know what? It's only saving up five more. Let's try Let's try and beautify ourselves first. All right. Take two. Let's try and become... There we go. So it was force magic. Okay. My hunch was right. Boom. We are now attractive and agile and brawny. I think you can upgrade brawny to strong. I genuinely think you can because we still have the option to do so. Um, 
Not currently casting any spells. I mean, it's fairly relevant. We do have the option. Oh, to be fair, we can do all of them again. We might as well try it. I think with 40 mana, you can make yourself strong rather than... There it is. Oh, my God, the savior. Debase those mints, my boy. The amount of thieves I can hire. No, no, no. We're going to try it the, the other way. Um, we're going to fortify our sneak. Lesser version for four mana. Okay, let's have up like 20 mana then. Blast ourselves with as much intrigue as possible. We're going to sneak into someone's house. Steal some bloody dwemers. I suppose we could send someone else to try and steal the other stuff. Oh, there's more. Just have have Silgrad found some, huh? Uh, close the spell book. Maybe we can... Oh my god, we could probably hire the Kamamora Tong if she's in... Uh, if she's in Morrowind. No. Maybe we need to not be part of the Thieves Guild to hire other ones. Hire a freelance thief. Go on then. Give it a go. Loot useless fools once again. I feel like these boys never succeed, huh? I feel like we're genuinely just throwing away so much gold. Do it. Prove me wrong. No. Okay, fuck them. I'm never touching the... Uh, that's it. That was the decider. Never touching the freelance thief button again. How slalu. Man, it'd be kind of fun to do a Morrowind playthrough at some stage, huh? Anyway, yeah, we're never touching that again. That button is pointless. It's robbed us of probably about 750 gold at this stage. Not worth it at all. Instead, we're going to blast ourselves with a little bit of mana. Let's see if we can actually get the highest level now. Um, what if I sneak? Moderate version still. All right, a little bit longer. Nice, there we go. My my liege working Falsard seems to have come to fruition. So that is every province now in Solstheim. Grabs. Let's start fabricating on this one too. What is that? Army of Cura Bayonet. Tribunal Temple going for it, are they? No? Hostile to... Uh, probably just hostile to it then? And maybe launching a... Oh, that's a bloody werewolf. Okay. Uh, what? The Tribunal Temple have vassalized them. Oh. Right, okay, so the Tribunal Temple just grabbed it, basically. I hope they don't do the same with Solstein. That's really annoying. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I don't, obviously can't go toward the Tribunal Temple, because that would call in the entirety of Morrowind, which <coughs> we are quite strong, but not that strong. Being a noble birth means stuff to the dungeons with him. Get out of here. Right, what's our mana looking like? 18, right. Can we now fortify our sneak to still only moderate, huh? Still only moderate. I, it's probably like 25, then, for maximum, huh? Right, let's, let's, we'll just wait. We'll just, I'm patience. Patience time. What is that? Lucky? When did we get lucky? Did I start with lucky? It was 20. Temporarily increase your target's intrigue. Boom. Cast a greater version of the spell. We are now up to 17. That was not worth it. That was really, really not worth it. Well, let's give it a go. We, we might as well seize the day, huh? What have we got then? Um, I feel like going for the character who is the lowest rank is probably the safest one to go for, right? So let's close spell book. Because he, he can't imprison us, surely. How can he imprison us? He doesn't have any land. We'll wait and see. Um, I'm Thieves Guild. I'll do it myself. I'll do it. Lose 30 gold. So, 45 gold cheaper than a thief who apparently constantly fails. Nice. That's massive. Like, that's genuinely the first step to something huge. We've got it equipped. Build cost, build time, minus down by 20% there. Massive. So, next step. Felsu, Duchess of Skilgrad. Steel artifact. Do I have my schematics? I'm Thieves Guild, I do it myself. She gets his prisoner. I think we should probably ransom our way out. Obviously, we're beautiful now as well, so she as a lady will probably like us a little bit more. I mean, that's just... Oh, God, there we go. Right, right on cue. Whatever, my goddamn stupid idiot Dwemer mouth. Right, 70 gold. She will actually ransom us out. That's fine. She wants us to be her chancellor this time. I guess we're playing musical chairs there in the uh, in the court of Skyrim. Right, um... Business focus. I've, I'm, I'm running... Dude, you know I'm good for it. I'm good for my de mint debasing. Right, designated regent... I've just set up any old shit here. We've still got the 17 intrigue, so honestly, I'm just going to try again against the same person. Or we'll just keep doing it until eventually, you know, we're going to get away with it, right? Do I schematics? I'm Thieves Guild, I do it myself. 30 gold. Not enough gold to ransom, so if we fail, we're going to be stuck in prison for a while. Oof. Owie. My bones. I guess we go back to theology focus for a bit. Well, that was not fun. Uh, apparently, we also became malnourished. Oh, uh, wait. How the fuck are we brawny and malnourished? Hmm... <laughs> Not sure that's how that works. Anyway, uh, how much mana we got? 14 out of 62. So I'm going to try and become strong, um, which I believe we can upgrade. I mean, it does make sense to be able to get fair and agile, which are obviously both inheritable traits, but not strong. Anyway, the Cult of Azura Uprising is taking back that part of Solstein. What is that? What is that? Is that a... I'm, I genuinely... All I can see there is, is like a pug face. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Anyway, um, good for you. What my point is, obviously, they're hopefully going to take back the island and break free of uh, the Arcanon there, of the Tribunal Temple, which means we can move in and grab it for ourselves. 
What's happening here? Um, Skyrim Conquest of Felsard. She pushing my claim or she just going for it, huh? She's just going for it. She's not pushing my claim. Oh, and I sang your praises. Oh, I'm going to have to blow her up now. Or, thousands of miles away, we're going to steal an artifact. Um, is this the one we hire someone else to do it? There's like this one. Or there's this one. We'll try the bottom one. I mean, I really don't think it makes any bloody difference, does it? Yeah, no, I don't think it makes any difference. I'm Thieves Girl. I'll do it myself. I'll do it. Right. Oh. <laughs> this is great. We need to steal one more. Wait. Oh, we can. Okay, I thought maybe you couldn't equip two. They can. They conflicted or something. Right, let's check our build time and build cost now. Elf Tand. Oh, still pretty unimpressive, actually. Oh, no, wait, there, there we go. Did it... Wait, what? Is that right? That doesn't seem right at all. I don't think that's working. Hang on. Uh, unequip. Go to you. Okay, that's clearly... Okay, so small hall, 639. Go to our dude. Can we, can we only have one equipped? Oh, my God, I think we can. Oh, no. Oh, it's been a... It's been a big waste of time. You only may have one active copy of this artifact. <clears throat> I'm so, I'm so upset. <laughs> Reading, everyone. Reading. Oh, you know what? I think I was, I think I must be going crazy. Because look, now we can actually equip them both. Hmm, that's really, that's really odd. I have no idea why that is. <clears throat> so, We've got ourselves two out of the three Dwemer schematics, so let's grab ourselves one more, I think, huh? and then we can actually start this campaign going, which is definitely why we can read... We're a dwarf. We're a Dwemer. Sorry. We're a Dwemer. Of course we can read the Dwemer schematics. Only some stupid human wouldn't be able to read all three Dwemer schematics at once. What sort of idiot would do that? Anyway, schematics. Excuse me? All of these people have them? Oh, I guess they're not within... We want it within Diplo range. Right, okay. We've got Ramina, Queen of Taneth, and we've also got Lanard, the King of Wayrest. Um, I guess their intrigue might affect how easy it is for us to steal from them, so we'll go for this person then. Um, you're the person with one of the tools of Kagrin, I can't. You have Sunder. You know what? You enjoy that. It's probably using it to just like hang a picture or something. Um, what have we got? Ramina. So, special interest. Steel artifact. Drama schematics. I'm Thieves Guild. I'll do it. Ready? First time. Watch this. Boom. There it is. We've done it. <laughs> it's just too easy. Oh, that's actually... I, I, I promise you I did not touch any thieving. Oh, shit. Has is that, is that worked? Still not great, though, is it? That's still really disappointing. All that fucking effort, and it's still going to take us the best part of a year to build a hall. And it still costs 97 gold. You know what? I'm glad I re I'm glad I removed the limit. I mean, I'm glad I'm a Dwemer, so I know how to... Have we definitely got all three equipped? We fucking do. That's insane. What? I guess the buildings in this mod just take bloody... Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, well, it's still expensive, though. Obviously, we still can't afford it, but... That's something. Just create the title of the Yardum of Soulstar. Uh, do you actually... My, my lady. I've been good to you. I'm a, I'm a great... I'm a great... Uh, I'm a great person. Oh, shit. Uh, blast with some magic, make a like us, uh, fortify health. If my lady, I, I grant you long life in exchange for your kingdom. In exchange, not for your kingdom, well, I mean, if, you, if you're offering. Uh, in exchange for your uh, your moral defense, I'm blasting you with, now you love me. How about, um, I can't do anything else. Come on, give me the title. You know you want to. <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow, I actually almost made myself joke making that fucking noise. My friends, we are now Jarl Rukunthungsh, the scholar of Solstheim, master of schematics, puzzle cubes, owner of Wrathguard, and more importantly, Jarl of Solstheim, which isn't really... Uh, she made a fucking... She got vassalage. She gave it to a vassal. We've got claim on it. A vassal's would not object. It's not allowed. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm really actually kind of a little bit triggered by this. We wrote title aloud. Council is not allowed to initiate voting. We've got four supporters out of the five. That's fine, right? Vote this through. Revoke is start. We've got a clan that we're allowed to revoke it legally. They actually can't stop us. So that's mine. He's going to say yes because he's a sensible lad. Boom. Now we've got to grab his herstang. Then, with our many dwarven schematics, we've got all the schematics to build dwarven cities now. We are going to turn Solstheim into dwarven utopolis, which is kind of, I guess, like a utopia meets a metropolis. I I think I made up a word, but it's going to be fantastic. 
I don't think we want to leave Alftand yet. Oh my god, we've got giants? Really? A group of giants in this province have become particularly aggressive. It was like, likely due to put in speed. So, a local populace tampering with their mouse. Right, whatever. I don't think we want to leave yet, but I also am not sure I want to invest into Alftand if we're just going to up and leave to Solstheim. You know? I mean, this is like a perfect aisle for the Dwemer people. We've got all the schematics we need to turn the place into an absolute paradise. I think we need to conquer this last dude. How many men has he got? 1,200. We have 1,100. What are the troops looking like? Oh my god, they're not going to reinforce for a very, very long time, are they? 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. Oh my god. Okay, I remember this issue with this mod now. Yeah. No. Oh, Mayor's power's waning. It's coalescing. Okay, so if we want to grab anything from him, now would be a good time to do it. We still need another 30 yarder, unfortunately, before he's going to give us a, a an artifact. Requested religious conversion. Oh my god. Um, Embrace the faith immediately. What if I say no? We're not ready to leave yet. We're not ready for our exodus to Solstein. I'm going to say no. What's she going to do? Nothing. She's going to declare war on some other dude. The Skyrim Solitude du jour war. She's at war with the half finger. Fine. Not a problem. I think it's time we leave. I think, I think it's time to get out of Skyrim because I think she's not going to have much more patience. They've tried to pass laws to purge our people. She's threatening me with religious conversion. I think once she's she's really sort of combining her power. She's in White Run. That's the capital. Fair enough. Um, you know, Skyrim is actually becoming Skyrim. They've taken out basically the whole of the Reach and taken that as part of Skyrim. All they've got to do is take out Halfingar and it's Skyrim as you know it from the game Skyrim. You know, the sort of du jour territory. Then I think she'll start dealing with internal problems. And then she'll go for Cyrodiil if she gets that powerful. So I think we're next sort of on the kill list here. So I think we need to run away. How do we do this? I'm still not entirely sure what's the next best step to take. Um, I think we need to take Herstang next, don't we? And then we need to start fortifying Solstheim. Converting it to... Oh, great. Who cares? Um, we need to start converting it into uh, feudal. More to the point. Because right now it is obviously all tribal lands. Convert it to feudal. What do we need for that? Oh, God. Of course we can... Right. One of you pointed this out, and I completely forgot about it. We can use spells on provinces. I completely forgot about that. Um, apparently, to also... Uh, apparently, we can increase taxes. Um, how do we do... Oh, increase local income. That'll be it. Yeah, so it's another way of increasing taxes. I completely forgot about that. We'll, we'll look at it more next episode, because we unfortunately don't have really any time left on this one at all. Okay. Next episode. We run to Solstheim as quickly as we can. We're the Duke of Solstheim now. This is the final step in getting free of Skyrim. This is the final step of, of getting out of here and setting up our own Dwarven Kingdom. We're close. Then after that, what's the plan? Build ourselves up. We build a new metropolis. We get, hopefully, I'll try and work out where to get the Wrathguard training. Use the tools of Kagranak to forge a new kingdom for our people. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. And I'm going to give a shout out to all of the people who've made it possible in the first place. The insane top tier level patrons. Zachary Harris, Tariq, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sidini, Tim Bragg, Lawrence, Michael Mullen, Croesus, Vacuus Bacchus, Josh Landine, Tesla, Tyler Birch, Jake Alexander Fence, Barbas Presley, Asuna Kirito, Logan Thorne, Conspire C, Jimbo, Orcs Wolf, Facundo Vasquez, Tom Terry 18, Escape, Average Gamer Fonity, and Jackson Whitman. Thank you all for your support and the insane tier levels on Patreon. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself a little bit of Dwema action. Feel like the series is about to take off. This is it. Like This is the, really the transition step into getting our own sovereignty. And it going from, you know, like a... I'd say we're currently going at like a speed 3. It's going to go right up to like a speed 8. And then we'll build ourselves up a kingdom. Then it's going to be non-stop Dwemer action, my friends. Speaking of my friends, we've also got Nathaniel Limburg, Brennan Tony, Euphrates, Jack Allen, Batamus Max, Panther, Phil, Gabriel Van Der Sloan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yoran De Vries, Haji Demar, Alpha Scuff, Kevin Saunders, Don Connor 2 with 7, Zep McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris Hancock, Sir Thor the Swede, Asaro, Nick, Will Wade, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, the Insane Pickle, Adam Person, and I see the great. Thank you all for your support.